Hello folks, welcome to another unboxing video. Today we are unboxing another selection of Extrema cookware. This is a very, very big box of Extrema cookware because frankly, I liked the last box so much I decided to replace every single piece of cookware I own except for my stock pot because their stock pots are like $300 and I just didn't have it right now. But, got a great deal on all of this stuff. Uh, check these guys out, uh, particularly on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. They have really, really good deals. I got a free gift. I got a uh, saucepan. I got a double boiler. I got a new frying pan. And I got some uh, free pot holders. And you're going to see it all in just a second when I open this up. So without further ado, let us do And we have boxes within boxes. Let's see what the first box has for us. Love the mystery. It makes you shiver with anticipation. Got a lid, that's a good sign. Here's one of their nice lids. Not sure what it's a lid to yet. We will find out together. It looks like it's a lid to the new saucepan I got. Hold on. Let me set down the bladed object so I don't gash myself open while I am trying to get this here. There we go. Alright, so that is item number one. And this, honestly, is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I am really pleased with this. Uh, it looked a little bit more petite on the website. I know they give you dimensions, so it shouldn't have shocked me, but this is cool. I wanted something larger. This is larger. This is exactly the size for everything I need. So, well done, Extrema Cookware. Alright, next up, let's see what else we have in the goodie box. Uh, it's a riddle! Wrapped in an enigma, smothered in mystery sauce. What do we have next? Let's go, go, go. We don't want this to get boring. Oh, here's one of my favorite things. Little inserts, I don't know why, but I really like them. <laughs> Instead of just a regular box. Oh, here's my very favorite thing. The little card they sign. You get one of these every time you get a shipment from them. It's like a fortune cookie. You have to look for the little hidden prize. They don't tell you your future, but it's still nice to see their little signatures. I think it's kind of cool. Alright. What is this here? Smaller lid. Think I know what's coming next. Yep. Alright. This. This is wedged in here is what this is. <laughs> All right, this is component number one, two, my double boiler. It's kind of fused together here. Oh, that's interesting. Because I know they're separate pieces. You can see top and bottom, but I cannot seem to get them apart. That's funny. <laughs> um, I will have to work on that later. Uh, this is how it comes though. This is it unboxed and I can show you it with the lid on more or less. I don't want to waste a lot of time there. You can kind of see in profile. Uh, <laughs> I'll figure that out later I'm sure, but that is my double boiler. Also a little bit bigger than I was expecting, so cool. Very cool. Next box away. Alright. This should be the last piece of actual cookware. Unboxing away! Now, by process of elimination, 
I know that this has to be my new Versus skillet. Here are the little handles. I'll explain those in a second. So the Versa skillet, I believe is supposed to be short for versatility. What it really means to you and me is handleless. This is a skillet that has no handle. These are a little bit less expensive than their skillets that do have a handle. At first, I thought that was just like a cheap out feature, but I bought one of their very large skillets. Uh, I think it was the 18 inch. And uh, that thing is heavy on its own when you add the big long handle onto it. It adds a lot of weight and it takes up a sizable amount of space on my stovetop. So when I went shopping this year, I took a look at the handle free varieties and I thought, hmm, this might be for me. Uh, so I'm going to give this a shot. It looks really interesting to me. But this is basically a frying pan without the handle. Ceramic, obviously, because it's made by this company. And then. They give you these two cute little handles, so you can kind of pick things up by the sides like that, without burning your hands, which frankly is an excellent idea because the only thing that I have to say critical about this company is the fact that their handles do get kind of too hot. Everything else, top notch, but the handles do get a little bit too hot and I just wonder if they might be able to re-engineer that someday, but... I don't make cookware for a living, so perhaps they are doing the very best that science will allow for. Alright, last, but not least, my free prize. This year, they had a cool promotion going on. Of course, I set down my box cover somewhere. Alright, so... This year they had a cool promotion going on where if you spent over a certain amount, which I think this whole set that you just saw here cost about $300. If you spent over that amount, roughly I'm guessing, I can't remember exactly, uh, they gave you a free gift of a $20 value and they had a bunch of things to pick out from. I chose these. They looked cute. I love how they color coded matched everything else, which they only match if you get the uh, black uh, skillets. They have some with like powder blue tops and green tops. This wouldn't really match with, but uh, these looked cute. I'm going to try them out. They were free. They match everything else. I think it's awesome. Before we conclude the unboxing video, let's just see what other junk is in the bottom here. I've got invoice. I've got another little booklet telling me I'm going to love it. Spoiler alert, I already love it, I know. Thank you, Extrema, for making a good product. And then lastly, and this is a good feature, do's and don'ts. Things you want to avoid doing to upset your cookware. Never use high heat settings. Listen to this! Pay attention to that! You really don't have to use high heat settings. Uh, unless you are trying to fuse lumps of coal into small diamonds in your home kiln, you really don't need to go very high on the settings when you use this cookware. It magically absorbs heat and uh, stores it and radiates it appropriately into your food, but uh, you really don't need to use high settings. I can't emphasize that enough. Let's see, never leave your cookware unattended. Uh, that's just because it's rowdy and it will steal your wallet. That has nothing to do with cooking. Uh, do not handle hot cookware without an oven mitt. Holy gosh, you need to pay attention to that. Uh, you will burn your hands off. I love this cookware, but uh, as I said just a minute ago, it gets hot. Do not take hot pot and place it on a cool surface. That's good just because you'll probably get thermal fracturing and you don't want that. Um, I'm going to stop reading these out loud to you, but this is a good do and don't list if you ever buy this cookware. Pay attention to this, it will help you, it will save you a lot of grief, it will keep you from burning your eggs. That is the unboxing video. This is a big mess that I have to clean up now. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe.